This is Jupiter Today for the 7th of December, 2014. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. The position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere at 0 hours UTC is a right ascension of 9 hours, 40 minutes, 4.7 seconds and a declination of positive 14 degrees, 45 minutes, 26.5 26.5 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun is 112.162 degrees and that's 1.007 degrees greater than yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter gets ever shorter and shorter as we move towards opposition Uh, early next year and today's distance is 727,327,016 kilometers and that's 2,179,552 kilometers closer than yesterday. That uh, gives an appearance of a relative velocity of 90,814.67 kilometers per hour towards each other. And that's 614.87 kilometers per hour slower than it was yesterday. Our relative velocity is slowing down at an ever-increasing rate. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 66.69 degrees, CM2, 192.94 192.94 degrees, CM3 85.4 degrees. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day near its eastern elongation. Europa starts the day in quadrant four, heading east. Ganymede is in quadrant two, heading west, and Callisto spends the entire day in quadrant three heading west, getting ever further away. At six hours UTC, EO is in quadrant two heading west, about to, uh, heading west. Europa continues in quadrant four heading east. Ganymede, as you can see, transits Jupiter now in quadrant three, uh, heading west the rest of the day. At 12 hours UTC, EO is in transit. Europa is moving behind Jupiter. And Ganymede has transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three, heading west for the rest of the day. 1800 hours. You in quadrant three heading west, nearing its western elongation. And by zero hours tomorrow, EO has reached its western elongation and is now in quadrant four heading east. There were 10 Jupiter satellite events. At 1.30, Ganymede's shadow ingresses. At 5.05, Ganymede's shadow egresses. At 6.09 UTC, Ganymede begins its transit of Jupiter. At 7.06, Europa disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. At 9.45 UTC, Ganymede ends its transit. At 9.52, Eo's shadow ingresses. At 11 o'clock, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. At 12.09, EO's shadow egresses. At 12.15, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter. And at 13.17, EO's transit ends. There were no satellite mutual events today.
So imagine that you're on the equator of Jupiter, just above the cloud tops. So you can see all of the stars. What would you see? Well, at zero hours UTC, you would see this. This is a segment of the show that I'm calling 24 hours of the Jupiter sky. And I encourage you just to sit back and enjoy the show. The more you watch it, the more things you see. Here we go for today. It's fun to watch out for the Jupiter satellite events and the satellite mutual events uh, happening from Earth's point of view and see what the configuration out here at Jupiter actually is. It's a very interesting perspective. Three moons on one side and Europa on the other. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian three times today, one at 0 hours 21 minutes, one at 10.17, and the third at 20.12. There were no new images, no new radio data. There was a new paper published on the 5th of November. So please subscribe, I'd like to hear your comments, questions, suggestions, send your images of Jupiter or the Jupiter system with the time that you took them to the email show. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.